Number 12 then from Paper 1 and the 2014 National 5. There we go. Without even looking at the question, as soon as you see this, as soon as you see that line drawn in a circle, joining two points in circumference, you think, that's a chord question. And as soon as you've got a chord question, I'm not even going to look at this yet, as soon as you've got a chord question, you create a right angle triangle. That's what's going to do the work for you. You create a right angle triangle by joining the centre to either end of that chord. It doesn't matter which. I'll go for this end. Because that will form a little right angle triangle. And I'll know this side because if the centre joins the chord at right angles, it must bisect the chord and it does say is the midpoint. Right, what's the one? What's the length of the chord this time? What's the length of PQ? Well, it all comes from that little triangle. Just put any numbers you know in. It says the radius is 15. So that means that that line there, being the distance from the centre to the outside, is 15 centimetres. That's the one I want to find, so I don't know that yet. I could call it AQ, or I could just call it X. But I should be able to work out this, because it says the distance AB is 27. So if that's 27 altogether, since that part's 15, that part must be 12. And in fact, that's the first mark for having a sketch like this down, or information to that effect, having a right angle triangle with a 12 and a 15 in it. I think though if I was doing it, I might have started off by saying AC is 27 take away 15, which is 12 centimetres. But then, after that, it's a right angle triangle. It only involves lengths, so it's Pythagoras. So I'll just make my Pythagoras statement. And I'm not going to go in with this. A, sometimes you see that A squared equals B squared plus C squared. Oh, but it's not the biggest, and then you rearrange that. No, it's quite simple. It is Pythagoras. It is a connection between the squares of the side, so just put it down as appropriate. I want X. I'll start with X, but it'll be X squared. The other two sides are 15 and 12. It's Pythagoras, so it's square them all. It's just a case of what is that? Is X the biggest side? If it is, it'll have to be bigger than 15. Plus, is X not the biggest side? It'll have to be smaller than 15. Minus. It's not the biggest, so it must be minus. So that would be the second mark. Not for stating Pythagoras at the beginning, A squared and B squared. That's the statement that you need. That's all you need to put down. Now it's just a case of what does that come to? Because you've not got a calculator. And then finally, what's the answer? Well, with this one here, you've got 15 squared. This is paper one. There is another way of doing it, though. And now 15 squared is 2, whoops, 2, 5. 12 squared is 1, 4, 4. Subtracting them is 4 from 5 is 1, and 14 from 22 is 8. So the x is going to be the square root of 81, so x is going to be 9. Now, you'd have thought that would have been the answer for the required bit for the third mark, because I've still got to get the full length, but apparently just getting as far as this was the third mark. Then the final part, answering the question itself, what's PQ? Well, PQ was two times that, because that was half the chord. So PQ is 18 centimetres, and that was the fourth mark. Here's a, here's a question here. Put 18 down with no working at all, and you get zero marks. I think it's always safer just to put down the, all the working. I think the only times it's safe not to put working down is where ideally you wouldn't when it's a bracket times a bracket or the square of a bracket. When I mean bracket, I mean linear bracket. One thing, other thing is this whole Pythagoras calculation here, because there's two marks within that, could have been done quite simply if you recognised you've got a multiple of a 3, 4, 5, and there's no mention in the marking scheme of how they would handle that. Because if I was doing this, I wouldn't have gone through all that. But then knowing it's an exam, I might put the first line down. Well, x squared is 15 squared minus 12 squared. Then thought, oh, wait a minute. That's 3 times 5. That's 3 times 4. So that means that the answer must be 3 times 3, which is 9. Because I've got 3 times a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And so that's the way I would do it. If I recognise I've got a 3, 4, 5, because it's, it's a common one, that's why they used it here in paper 1. It'd have to be in paper 1, one of the Pythagorean triples, like 3, 4, 5, or 5, 12, 13. And I would say that's still worth the two marks, because that'd be the first one, and the second one with a reason, because I'm using, I recognise I have a multiple of a 3, 4, 5 triangle.